Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial on the Twin Place channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about making a gravity coil for your Roblox Steel Braid Rock game. Um, so we kind of left off talking about speed coil, but now we're going to be talking about the gravity coil. Um, something that's pretty fun to use and have in games, of course. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to bring this to you guys. Now, um, of course, if you're new to the channel, uh, feel free to turn on and hit that subscribe button, you guys. Uh, I'm still sick. And I'm trying to get over the sickness, but I'm just trying my best here. But <laughs> yeah, so um, also as well for the people who are just wanting to make a gravity coil, I am going to be leaving a tool in the description that you guys can just get. But of course, going into this, we're going to just hop right into the studio. So let's go straight into that. All right, you guys, so once you're in the description and you can, of course, get all the links below, the Discord, everything, uh, I do post all the Discord links, all the models in there as well. Uh, but of course, we're just going to be grabbing a kit for today, our little model. It's just going to be this right here. Um, but yeah, so this does have a gravity coil as well in it. But yeah, once you claim it, so you could just download it or whatever it says claim. It should be your inventory and toolbox, uh, just like the speed coil. And you just import it. So just click OK. Go right here. You could whatever works for you. But okay, so we're in our Steel Braid Rock game now. Um, if you aren't doing Steel Braid Rock, uh, basically the tool is just right here. So you could just grab this and put it inside a starter pack. Uh, this wasn't made by me. It was made by Luxy Baxter. It looks like. Uh, but this is just a basic uh, gravity coil tool. Now, um, of course, when it comes to I talked about this in the last video. When it comes to customizing these things, you know, you can change the texture ID. You can change the way they look, uh, but it is a mesh ID, so you can't really change the textures and colors. Um, I mean, you could change the vertex text or color, but it doesn't really do much because it is just a mesh. Um, so yeah, so basically, uh, going with that, there's coil sounds and all that kind of stuff. You're good to, uh, yeah, if that's it, that's the video for you if you do want just a gravity coil. Now, uh, for those who are watching the Steel of Brain Rot, uh, basically, so in the last video, we talked about how we have these new tool behavior functions. So we made a new one in the mobility. So under configuration, I also, and we did a new tool thing as well. Uh, we just added this gravity coil. So this is mine updated every day. I'm just going to update it as well. But basically, you're just going to drag this into your mobility folder that we have. Um, so just feel free to do that. And um, it's here. We'll explain this in a sec here. But as well as this tools, um, I just added the basically the thing called gravity coil. So um, you could just go inside this script and copy this whole function right here and go to your original one and just paste it down below. So uh, we did change a few things too with that. But yeah, that's it. And then also with the server storage, drag this into the tools folder. So go to server storage, go to tools and just drag it into there. It's basically just a gravity coil, just a handle, that's it. You don't need anything else. Um, and then I'm going to be working on lucky blocks, which I know a lot of people want, so I'm going to be doing that. But yeah, so um, we're going to close this out because I don't need anything else, uh, which is nice. But okay, so going into the tools and gravity coil, um, in the tools, what I added is basically we just have it here, you know, description to jump, um, icon is the gravity coil, and then we have a price is 50, rebirth is zero, but of course, changes to your likings, uh, the category is mobility, Activation animation, activation sound, and equip sound is this sound right here. So you could do that to your liking if you want to get sounds. You could even just look for audio in the creator store. But then we have gravity, gravity percent remaining, gravity counter percent, and then we have additive speed. It's false, of course, because we're not doing speed. But yeah, so these are the customized values. If you want to change these to your liking, you can. Honestly, I only recommend changing this right here and just like doing it by like maybe five. So like if you want to do less, just do 20. Uh, but yeah, so... Going in here, this actually kind of talks about it. This is more of the uh, the code for it. But yeah, we're basically just doing a gravity. Uh, yeah, so this is kind of funny. I did I did a Luxor backer sound. Just popped into ChatGPT, which is nice. Um, so going in here, how this works is um, we're just doing a bunch of bath, basically. Um, and we are basically doing a certain jump boost um, to them. It forces all that kind of stuff. But we're going to apply it a certain way when they... Um, equip the tool and when they unequip it so like of course when they unequip it we're going to remove all this stuff the jump all that kind of stuff but yeah so it basically just adds a force onto them that makes them basically jump higher um it also does a little bit of like a slow animation of fall so honestly that's about it it's nothing too crazy uh basically just a gravity coil it's already made for you so i just made it um, we're adding it to our module script, of course, and then we're going to go in here, which is just the script for it by itself. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying these like separate kind of like tool behavior things because it makes it much easier than uh, what was handled with the server script and the tools because, you know, you don't want to handle all your tools by doing one little uh, 
thing because it just doesn't it just doesn't work as much but yeah so now you have a gravity tool and the speed the speed speed coil and the gravity coil um i don't know exactly which one i'm gonna go after next maybe i'll probably do the swap body animation or the trap one i'm gonna figure that out but yeah once i go into that i'll also be also i'm, I'm making a bunch of other tutorials and i'm probably gonna be redoing this entire kit because i just think it needs some work um not to, not to hate on it but i just think there's just a lot that could be fixed especially with the data store service i probably want to switch that to profile store and kind of go about that but yeah so um, and i'm also gonna be working on ragdoll i know aiden made some things on that so uh i hope you guys did enjoy this video of course if you did subscribe like comment share and i will see you guys in the next video i'm so sorry i'm sick and just grinding it out but have a good one everybody Bye bye